Yeah, if I was a wig, this would be her right here. What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all seen by that title, I'm going to be watercoloring some hair today. And I'm coming with some Eunice hair. I purchased this hair with my own coins, y'all. I believe this is a 12 inch unit and this is 613 hair. And this was my first time working with 613 hair ever. Um, So yeah, that is what I got in my packet. Just a pamphlet, some wig caps, and an extra elastic band for the inside of the wig. And I'm just showing y'all what came in the box. So here's the wig. It came in a net inside of a plastic bag. And here's it straight out of the package. Now, I will say I was in love, in love, in love with this lace. Man, I love this lace. I don't, I think, I want to say it's transparent because it looks transparent. But I don't know. And I'm not going to lie, straight out the box, I wasn't super amazed. Like, as y'all can see towards the ends, it was a little bit softer. But the middle of the hair, it wasn't... I mean, it wasn't rough, but it wasn't super soft like what I'm used to, if that makes any sense. So now I'm just showing y'all the inside of the wig construction. This was a 13 by 4, I believe, and it came with three combs on the inside. And yeah, what I will say is, in the end, I loved how this hair turned out. And after conditioning the hair, it felt better than what it did straight out the box. So I just want to say that. These are the three colors I'm going to be using to dye my wig today. Y'all, this color has been on my radar for the longest. I was going for like a burnt orange, gingery, orangey type of color. So I'm just going in with my dye. And I believe this is French cognac that I'm putting in first, if I'm not mistaken. Which I should have put in last because it's like a deeper color. But in the end, it turned out good. So that's all that really matters. You just have to kind of play with the color and know what you're going for. If that makes any sense. So yeah, I'll use that whole bottle. I put the water inside of there just to get every ounce of dye out. And I just went in putting the rest of the dye in the water. And this was my first time watercoloring the actual human hair 613 wig. Y'all have seen, if you know, you know, if you've been on my channel, you've seen me watercolor synthetic hair because I don't know, I just like playing with colors and the hair be so cheap. So it's like whatever, but no nah, this wasn't cheap i mean it was super affordable don't get me wrong but <laughs> yeah <laughs> so now i'm just going in this water was super duper hot um i believe if i'm not mistaken i boiled a little bit of hot water and then i mixed some regular like hot tap water as hot as it can get so this water was pretty hot and or if you know what i didn't boil no water i just used straight hot tap water i remember so yeah, but it got super hot coming out the tap water. And now you just see me spreading apart the hair, um, taking breaks because my fingers were burning. So just be careful. But yeah, I'm just mixing that um, up in there and checking the color and just checking for any spots. You don't want any patches of just straight blonde hair in your wig. I don't care what color you're doing. You want it to just be even. So I'm just moving it all around, moving it all around. And yeah, you guys, I will say the front of this hair and the ends actually didn't take like the rest of the hair did. And I didn't mind it. It gave the hair a nice dimension. But yeah, that's something that I noticed is that the roots and the ends of the hair were like a lighter orange color. It looks all the same here. But when, you know, when it dries, the hair gets lighter. And when you're dyeing hair and it's wet, it's always going to look darker than what it really is. So yeah, I watercolored this hair for, mm, I know it was for sure less than 10 minutes. But yeah, I was just make sure, making sure the hair took as much color as it could. And now I'm just going to go in and condition the hair. Look at that, y'all. Look at how just silky the hair, the wig looks. And just look at how the hair looks in general. Like, it looks so bomb. So now I'm just going in with this Bio Silk Conditioner, which I love. Y'all will hear me talk about this towards the end of the video make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because i will be giving y'all like more information about the hair and just the overall watercolor process and everything about the hair after it's watercolor so yeah i brushed that conditioner through my tangle teaser which i love that brush like for my natural hair for wigs i just love that brush it detangles hair really nice and now i'm just rinsing that conditioner out 
and here it is y'all all right y'all i just want to say i freaking love this color and i love how soft this hair is i definitely i'm gonna be purchasing this hair again unless you and this hair you want to collab y'all want to work y'all can email me i genuinely love Eunice hair y'all know that i started my channel and most of my hair videos um out on a lot of Eunice hair they were sending me a lot of hair this 613 wig was not sent to me at all i actually purchased it with my own money off of amazon i actually really really love the quality of this hair like no joke i love Eunice hair like Eunice hair has to be one of the best affordable hair companies that i've ever collabed with so far I swear by the hair. So yes, y'all. And I was a bit like at first. I've, I've never had 613 hair. So when I first took it out the pack and I felt it, I was like, okay, definitely could tell this is 613 hair, and that it's been processed by how it feels. But you guys, after I conditioned this hair, baby, like after I conditioned the hair, it just flows and it feels actually better than it did when it first came out the box so yes love that bio silk i used bio silk um conditioner this is the shampoo but same same thing same bottle at least i use bio silk conditioner love that conditioner by the way so i definitely recommend that that is what got this 613 hair so flowy and just child i just love it like just running my fingers through it, it feels so good and i did blow dry this hair but i blow dried it on cool the entire time just because i didn't want to put no extra heat this hair has been processed it has been dyed i didn't want to put no heat on it um at least more than i'm already gonna put on it to style it so i decided to just blow dry it on cool but yeah y'all and another thing i want to say is for some reason the frontal part as y'all can see it's like lighter and the ends. I don't really know what that's about, but I don't really mind it. I actually really like the dimension of the hair. Like it's different. It's kind of darker in some areas. Um, as y'all can see, if it's all going back. Um, when I first dipped the hair in, I did dip it in like this part in first. So that's kind of, I think that's kind of like why I got the colors that I got because I dipped my entire wig in this part down first. So yeah, that is why when I part it, you can see like it gets kind of lighter in some areas, but I don't mind it at all. I love the dimension. I feel like it'll be super pretty once I put the curls in it. But yeah, the ends also are like the top of the frontal. Yeah, that's just how the color took to the hair. I did not tone this hair before I washed it. I left it. It wasn't too, too yellow, so I didn't really mind. I left it as is and I just dipped it in. But this will be broke up into two parts. I will have me dyeing this unit and how I dyed it. And then I will have a video of me installing it, showing y'all how I installed it, how I customized it and all that good stuff, which is what I'm about to get ready to do. But yeah, so far I just blow dried it dry. I'm loving the dimension, honey. Like, I don't know, like if fall was a wig, I think this will be it. It's between this wig and those highlight wigs that have been everywhere. Like the one I had for my birthday, go check that out. But yeah, between those two, I feel like if fall was a wig, this would be it. But yes, right now, um, I was just putting it on my head to see how it looked. I'm gonna go ahead and part out, which I think kind of how I have it now is how I'm gonna want it. Ooh, y'all, a matte. Wait till I put the curls in, like look at this. And then I'm gonna put her back on my mannequin head and customize and use my hot comb and just go to work. I'm not sure if I have a customizing video on my channel yet, but by the time this is posted, I should of how I customize my wigs. I love, it's my favorite part. I love customizing. But anyways, I've been rambling too, too, too much. I just wanted to show y'all how she looking before she gets styled. And yes, I'm about to put her back on the mannequin head and get to customizing. Uh -huh. I never had to let you go to the club with your boys. Like